Twelve and a Half by Gary Vaynerchuk. Gary Vaynerchuk is a book about values. And he has basically 12 and a half values he tries to implement into his life, into his business, and he explains them to us. I think he made a big step in this book in trying to not use swear words as much as he usually does, because I think swear words are just uh, an incap an incapability, maybe, of finding better words for replacing them with swear words because swear words can used can be used for very many different things and also again just scream attention i quite enjoyed the book even though i for myself try to not listen to uh content like gary v that much anymore because i realized that basically uh the variable of getting attention just becomes it doesn't become, but is just a huge part of what he says. So many of these different things, like trying to trying to explain to you, or trying, or just stating things about the future, for example, and making it seem as if he is absolutely sure about where NFTs, for example, are going, or where the blockchain and things like these are going. He just doesn't know. He doesn't know like many other people. Maybe he doesn't know a little bit more because maybe he has some uh, some uh, knowledge that is beneficial for trying to predict the future, but it doesn't really make sense to display this overconfidence in predictions in your own predictions and in your own actions and therefore i think i maybe grew out of the audience for gary vaynerchuk uh, because i don't really seek these kind of external confirmations that much anymore at least i try to not and try to have people i follow to be a little bit more self-reflected and to be a little bit more laid back you could say when it comes to their predictions about the future like Take Ray Dalio, for example. In the first few sentences of his book, Principles, he basically announces that he's just a dumb shit of crap or something like this. And he doesn't know anything about the world. And this humility, of course, humility is something that is also a little bit over-demanded at this point in time, I think, because uh, you cannot really display your self-confidence if you have like a higher level of self-confidence in the public and in social interactions and also in things you post to the internet because it is not compatible with the social norms we have as a society and therefore it doesn't really make sense but of course in order to get more to the truth in order to get closer to the truth it would make sense to display this confidence a little bit more as a result I listened to the book. I didn't expect that much from the book. I really enjoyed the first two books because they really got me into this thinking that, and into a thinking, Gary Vaynerchuk, I have to thank you at this point in time because he actually pushed me, even though he was so, um, so shouty and maybe loud at this point in time and still is, um, I think. He pushed me into the direction, so I read his first books, Crushing It, Crush It, or I consumed them in audio, I listened to them. Crushing It, Crush It, Jab, Jab, Right Hook, and I think there is also another one which I can't quite remember right now. And he actually pushed me into just recording things, things like these, which I wanted to do for years, but I just, every time I recorded something, uh, the level of quality I demanded from myself and the level of quality I was able to produce were just so different that I basically did not see this thing I produced as something I could publish to the internet. But his approach, document versus create, which has not that much to do with these values he tries to push in his new book, but much more about the old books and about this document versus create approach, meaning you just record the things you can record and don't try to basically do outlandish videos, for example, or write an outlandish book where you just have to research the next 15 years of your life. Of course, this is a, a, an exaggeration right now, but this book actually, not really this book, but much more all of Gary Vee pushed me into the idea of just recording something and being okay with it and being okay with it, not being okay with it, with it but nevertheless publishing it or posting it to the internet because that's the only way you can develop your speaking skills and all the other skills that are involved. Just 
by doing the thing, you actually train yourself to do the actual thing. And if you then research for the next two years, or if you want to do a video or a post or whatever it is about a certain topic, or you want to write a book about a certain topic, then it doesn't really make sense to pick a topic where you just don't have the knowledge to do so, or you just have nothing to say about this topic. Therefore, accepting just the state, the current state of me and myself as I am right now, that's the only thing I can do right now, record right now, because I don't have different speaking skills. I could try to to get better at the speaking skills, but nevertheless, the content I am producing right now will be with my current skill set in all of these different things. Therefore, even though it was not so much a book, about 12 and a half, I once again listened to the book and... You don't always have to be 100% five-star opinion about this book you just read, but you can also, I think, read books and see where they don't actually interact with you or where they fall short of interacting with all the thoughts in your head.